Theology versus Philosophy. You ever wondered what the relationship is between theology and philosophy? Or is there one at all? There are a lot of options, but I've only found one good one. Color me curious. And by the end of this video, you will be able to sit at a coffee shop or dinner party with friends and wax with profundity and elegance at the relationship between theology and philosophy. But more importantly, you'll leave seeing the benefits that philosophy offers to theology. Because when we look at the disciplines of human understanding and knowledge, the one theology has had the greatest amount of interaction with over the years is philosophy. So what's the relationship? Well, let's look at the options. First up is theology versus philosophy. This is the idea that there is no relationship at all. There's a famous line that goes, what does Athens have to do with Jerusalem? The famous expression, it comes from an early church history theologian, Tertullian. And this approach regards philosophy as having nothing to contribute to Christian theology. And as we look back at church history, this idea was present in the early years of the church, in the Middle Ages, and the Reformation. Martin Luther said, let philosophy remain within her bounds, as God has appointed, and let us make use of her as a character in comedy. The thought here is that theology doesn't have any connection to philosophy. Zero! Zip nothing! The second view is that philosophy is an aid to understanding theology. And in this view, faith in God and the Bible, they hold priority, but philosophy does have a role. And unlike Tertullian, St. Augustine did think Athens could help Jerusalem. Augustine believed that philosophy could help one in understanding Christian theology. What he saw was that the philosophy of Plato could serve as a vehicle for theology. That through philosophy, you could then begin to understand theology. Well, this brings us to the age-old question, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? Does philosophy really come before theology? I just can't believe that. Sorry for the cheesy philosophy joke. The challenge here is both have different core bases. One is rooted in an internal creator, the other in reason or sense experience. Coming in number three, theology is established by philosophy. As Christian theology began to encounter paganism, non-Christian religions, and later on the enlightenment, it became necessary to find some neutral basis for establishing truth. Going back to the Middle Ages, Thomas Aquinas found a basis in Aristotle's argument for the existence of God. In this case, philosophy was able to supply theology with credibility, like the references you give employers hoping they won't actually reach out. That philosophy can vouch for theology. Number four, theology is judged by philosophy. From the position that theology can be established by philosophy came the next logical development that theology must be proved by philosophy to be accepted. This view became prevalent during the Enlightenment, the Age of Reason. That the only aspects of theology accepted are those that are tested through reason. Here, philosophy becomes the Simon Cowell of theology's performance. Number five, philosophy may give content to theology. George Hegel, the German philosopher, developed a rational view of Christianity based on his philosophy. He saw the truths of Christianity as examples of universal truths, a pattern of which history follows. He modified the concepts of theology to then fit into philosophy. Now, these are some of the most common views on the relationship between philosophy and theology. So are theology and philosophy opposed to each other? Is this Rocky 1 and 2? Or Rocky 3 and 4? Thanks, Paul. Here's my take for what it's worth. As a Christian, I don't think we should run from philosophy, but use it and leverage what it offers. Looking at these options, there's some truth in each of them, but rather than narrowing our mindset and only taking one, what if we broaden our perspective? A view called theology's use of philosophy. And this view will benefit you in four ways. The first is this, philosophy sharpens our understanding of concepts. We want to develop the ability to say what we believe and to better determine the meaning of what we're saying as others receive it. And we'll never make our concepts clear to others if they're not clear to ourselves. Philosophy can help bring clarity to concepts. Second is that philosophy looks behind an idea. Philosophy can help us identify the presuppositions behind an idea or a system of thought. And awareness of presuppositions will help us to consciously adjust our perception of things. We may favor a particular teaching and tend to believe everything we hear in that area. And our awareness of this prejudice will help us to remain alert 
to things in this area that may not be true. Three is that philosophy addresses the implications of an idea. Often it's not possible to assess the truth of an idea in itself, but it might be possible to see what implications follow from it. If the implications of the idea prove to be false, it may well be that the idea itself is flawed. Fourth is that philosophy makes us aware of the need for truth. We need to test for truth. Assertions by themselves are not sufficient grounds for us to accept them. That's not to say we will always arrive at concrete proof of what is true or untrue, but it will help us, in most cases, to develop the best possible solution. So there you have it, theology's use of philosophy. What does Athens have to do with Jerusalem? It's an aid that helps us to develop a robust theology.